All right, hi YouTube. This is my Toyota 4Runner, and today I'm going to show you how you can protect your catalytic converter from getting stolen. So what happened here is that uh, if you look underneath, looks like someone tried to nick my catalytic converter. So today what we're going to do is we're going to spray paint this and do a VIN etch so that hopefully it deters any thieves from taking the unit. All right, let's go. Tools for the job. We're gonna have safety glasses, a wet rag to wipe things down, some high temp paint. Uh, in my case, I'm using VHT flame proof. It's rated to 2000 Fahrenheit, which is more than enough for our catalytic converter. And optionally, a Dremel. Uh, this is gonna be used to etch the VIN. Step one, gonna take some uh, wetted cloth and we're gonna go over the catalytic converter and just clean everything off. Just clean off all the dirt on the whole unit so that uh, the paint will stick so let's do that now okay step two after you've wiped off the whole catalytic converter what we're gonna do is take some sandpaper and just scruff up the surface so that the paint will stick uh, now you can also use a uh, powered wire brush to do this much faster but just for illustration you can also use cheap sandpaper and just kind of go over the whole surface carefully and scruff it up the whole thing Okay, step three, once we have the whole catalytic converter scruffed up and the surface is all prepped up, we're going to take our uh, VHT flame proof paint and we're going to go over and start painting the catalytic converter. Uh, you might want to mask off the surrounding area, but from my case, I don't really care. So I'm just going to go and uh, paint. So, all right, let's do that. And just going over the whole catalytic converter. So we're done painting the catalytic converter. Here's the end result. It's bright yellow. Make sure you paint it uh, nice and thick. Don't be afraid to lather that on. And uh, that's what it looks like painted. Uh, what you also want to do is make sure with your spray paint, take it upside down and uh, let it empty out a bit. Clear it out so that you don't clog that nozzle. After we've applied the paint, here's the curing instructions for the VHT flame proof paint. Uh, make sure to read these carefully because we do have to go through a few heating and cooling cycles to fully cure the paint. So our paint is now dry. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start the engine and uh, idle the engine for 10 minutes. This is what the catalytic converter looks like after it's uh, done the curing cycles. I'm ready to test the VIN with this Dremel. Don't know if it makes a difference, but it does make it easier to trace if it does get stolen. I have my VIN number written here on a piece of paper, so uh, I'm going to get started etching the VIN. Here's what the final result looks like. Our catalytic converter is all painted and the VIN is etched. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this method. Do you think it works? And is it enough to deter thieves from uh, stealing your catalytic converter? See you next time.